have some visitors yeah. to see our Savage Life Hacks for school. For those of you who clicked on this video, you're either a subscriber, hi guys, and for those of you who are new and don't know who we are, you have probably reached the point of desperation. desperation. But don't worry, it's okay. We're either all in high school, or we've all been in high school, we're going to high school, and we'll all reach a point of desperation where we really need Savage Life Hacks to get yeah. by. Pause. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you guys are new, you guys should click down below to subscribe, or if you're on a computer, just click around, it's floating around. So without further ado, let's find out these life hacks. Rule number one, if you guys are trying to find the answers to your homework, all you have to type into Google search is the question word for word, and Google search that. And then you will either come across a Quizlet with all the answers, or a PDF that you have to download with all the answers. I'm gonna teach you how to fake a tucked in shirt and a short skirt at the same time. Wear a camisole under your shirt, whether it's a polo or a button up, you wear a cami, roll your shirt under the cami. But under the cami, roll your skirt. So see what I mean? You roll your skirt, put the cami over it to hold it in place, and then tuck the shirt or polo over it. If you wanna get away with texting in class, we all know how hard it is not to text in class. All you have to do is keep your backpack on your desk and put your phone into the big part of your backpack, unzip it, and make eye contact with the teacher as you text. She has no way of knowing you are texting it. Cheat at your own risk. I'm not advising cheating to answer to everything, but I was a high schooler once. I know how it's like. It's inevitable. So I'm gonna teach you guys ways to cheat where it's harder to get caught, from my experience. The first way is the under the skirt. Now, I don't know if you guys have a uniform, or if you don't, maybe wear a skirt to school, but pretty much you wear a skirt. Ask people from previous periods, like what's on the test, maybe look at your notes, write some things on your leg that they say are gonna be on the test. Then while you're taking the test, glimpse at your thigh, pull your skirt up a little bit, and write whatever you need to write down. Because the teacher isn't gonna ask you to lift up a piece of clothing now, are they? Have you ever not known about a test until the day of, and then you realize you're not prepared for it? So when Gabby and I were in high school and we needed to get out of a test, we would pretend to be sick for the period only. Can I go to the nurse? I don't feel well. And we would go to the nurse for the period of the test. And then after the test was over, we'd leave the nurse and go back and finish our day of school and find out what was on the test. So that way when we made up the test, we knew what to study for that, and then we took the test and we got an A. Pretty sad. It's for the test that require loose leaf paper, this is gonna come in handy because you can take your handy dandy answer key or cheat sheet and stick it in between the notebook paper on your desk and occasionally slide a sheet up, look at your little cheat sheet, slide the sheet down, and then when it comes time to turn in the paper, just take that cheat sheet and sit on it or put it in your backpack or make sure it's not with all your loose leaf because some teachers tend to collect the loose leaf. Did you ever not know what was gonna be on a test and you just thought you were set up to fail? Well, guess what? You can actually find your test on Google before you take the test. So this is what you have to do. Follow my instructions and you'll probably find your test. This is what you type into the Google search bar. You first put your textbook name, the chapter number, the chapter name, and then write answer key and then press enter. And then your test or a PDF may pop up. You have to download it and voila. If you wanna get extra sleep, then go ahead, get extra sleep and sleep in. If you're one of those who have a parent, have them write a note saying you were sick, you had to go to the doctor's, and then hand it in when you come in and they won't count it as an absence or a tardy. How are they gonna prove it? All right guys, so that was our Savage Life Hacks. Let us know in the comments down below which one you found the most handy. And also if you have any more Savage Life Hacks for any other savages yeah. clicking on this video. And thumbs up if you guys want more Life Hacks videos from us. So that's it for today, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.